Lindy, three and four, come in and hose them down one more time. Take me just north of the down pilot. Uh, Roger, Sandy, one. Uh, we've got the down pilot sight. We're coming in from your six o'clock at this time. And then uh, we've got quite a bit of ground fire on here, so until we exactly get to it, we're going to have to... Uh... Okay, Don, I think we can go for it. This is just small arms. We can move them in along the ridge line. Okay, babes, let me know. I'm coming in. <laughs> Hello, gunfighter 82 Alpha, 82 Alpha, 71. Okay, bravo, bravo, pop your smoke, pop your smoke. Okay, Charlie, 10 degrees more right, 10 degrees more right, smoke, smoke straight ahead, smoke straight ahead. Uh, Charlie, 5, 6, Sandy, 1, go. All right, Sandy, they want you to pull back to the west. They got some uh, bigs coming in in the uh, area. Roger, copy that. The Sky Raider is a brute, a hulk, big, a bulky body, long, wide, straight wings, and just one powerful engine, the same engine used on the B-29 bomber. That big engine allowed the plane to carry freakish weapons loads, more than the World War II B-17 bomber and four times the ordnance on the P-51 Mustang. Not all missions lasted this long, but the A-1 could stay aloft for as long as 10 hours, and thanks to those long, wide wings, uh, could maneuver at low speeds. To protect the pilots, extra steel plating was added to the cockpit area. The Sky Raider was nicknamed the Spad after the French World War I fighter that was flown by many American pilots. Eddie Rickenbacker became an ace and Medal of Honor recipient flying the SPAD over France and Germany. The Sky Raider first established itself in combat in 1950 in the Korean War, attacking rail yards, factories, and protecting troops on the ground. Even with great pilots flying a great airplane, there are always losses, men and planes. In Korea, 128 A-1s and many crews were lost. Next came Vietnam. The Navy SPADs flew in the very first attack on North Vietnam, August 5, 1964, from aircraft carriers in the Tonkin Gulf. The targets were fuel depots at Vinh. The Air Force also flew the SPAD in various roles in Vietnam. They hunted truck convoys on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. They flew close air support and dramatic life-saving Sandy missions, they were called, flying cover for rescues of threatened and injured troops on the ground. 
Again, there were losses in Vietnam, 266 A-1 SPADs and 144 pilots were lost. The Navy's last Vietnam missions were in 1968. The Air Force continued to fly the SPAD until the war ended. The Sky Raiders retired now. Some say it was the most effective ground support aircraft ever. <laughs>